79 C10, 6,900 miles on it. And the holy grail of this group, and probably the holy grail Jimmy, period, 1991. All right, good morning, welcome to Coffee Walk part two. We just drove 210 miles from Baltimore, Maryland. We're now in Falls Creek, Pennsylvania. Beautiful, seemingly middle of nowhere. Right, James? Right. Did we find the middle of nowhere again? We found it again. We're pretty good at that. <laughs> How's your drive, sir? Mine was amazing, how about y'all? Good, good. Let's go see what we got in here. Let me get my phone since I need my flashlight. Good afternoon, guys. How are you, sir? Great, how are y'all? Not too bad, how was the ride? Excellent, really a pretty drive. All right, Ken. Hi, sir, Ken. Nice Dennis to meet Collins. You. Nice to meet you in person. Hi, sir. Follow yeah. you on. Dennis Collins. Okay. Hi, Hi Josh. Hey, Josh. Dennis Collins. This is James hey. Autry and Zach on the camera. Nice to meet Zach. you guys. Nice to you. All right. <clears throat> well, well uh, I'll tell you what we got here. All the trucks are up on this end. Uh, there's okay. another barn out back that has some vehicles in, but all the pickups are in here, and the one, uh, the, uh, the white Jimmy's over here, the one with 70,000 on it. Okay. But, uh, all right. And I'll show you. There's uh, three vehicles that we have that are not, we can't do anything with right now. It's okay. the daily driver, 200,000, so not, not a big deal. Okay. One that's out back, an old Monty, and this one red square body. It's actually in the grandfather's estate that wasn't closed out before the uncle passed. So it's kind of, okay. they're going to be sold, but it's just a matter of, you know, when we get there. Not a problem. So, but. I think we still got plenty to look at, don't we? Oh my. <laughs> yeah. There's, there's quite a quite a bit to see, but uh, yeah, just walk around and if you have any questions, I'll do my best to answer. Uh, let's start. Let's start with the oldest truck first. The oldest is '71, isn't it? Yeah, it's clear against the back wall. Okay. Yeah, it's a little better here, doesn't it? We haven't had a ton of ton of warm weather yet. Watch your step. I see there's something wet there. Three fifty, nineteen seventy one power steering, power brakes. Cheyenne, do you know what the miles are on this one, Ken? Uh, I mean, I can get in there if you don't. Yeah, let me check. I might have it on my phone. I don't know if I can get in there, but I'm going to try. Wow, look at this. So this is a California delivered Chevelle convertible. That is very unique. Hmm. You know, I know that. Smog setup. Air injection rail, smog pump, diverter valve. Very cool. Well, I don't think you guys could squeeze any more vehicles in here, could you? Well, we were a little surprised <laughs> ourselves. Wow. Uh, and it was in, in the garage out back of the, what they call the barn. It was the same way there. We had, there was five in a three stall garage back there, uh, plus a couple extras. Yeah, this, let's see here, this, that's a 71, so let's see if I have the mileage. No, we do not have the mileage on that one. Okay. That's also very unusual. This is a three speed car, not a four speed. So you could get a Muncie three speed. That was the base transmission. So California delivered three speed Muncie convertible. I don't know how to read y'all's inspection stickers, but yeah, that's a that's an odd one for me. Most of 19, ours 1977. Yeah, most of ours don't look that way uh, anymore. <laughs> Not for the last thirty years. This other thing that will tell you this is a California car. Really neat. These overriders on the bumpers, front and rear. Do you know the history of this car? I do, I do not. I know it was bought uh, locally off of a guy that. Paul and myself worked with many years ago, uh, <clears throat> but I have no idea where he, how he acquired it. Well, it looks like it's 
it's been sitting here that long. Well. <laughs> yeah, I can. Wow, the I mean, the tires are blown out, completely blown out. That's crazy. Yeah, we believe that most of these vehicles were probably bought and uh, hauled in and probably rarely, if ever, driven. Uh, <clears throat> Heaven knows you couldn't pull them out the way they had them in here. I believe the mileage on this one was, was it 26 maybe? Uh, 53,000. 53? It's okay. either 33 or 53. I think it's 53. I didn't look at the I don't think I saw the pictures of that car. I wasn't paying attention. Uh, it's 53. 53,000? Okay. You've got original hose clamps, which is a good sign. You've got GM radiator hose, it's a good sign. Uh, Look at the tailgate on that truck. Oh, yeah, that is a good The guy painted that on there for him. Wow. That I worked with. Paint's nice. <clears throat> yeah, I only saw one spot, and that was where the they put the bed row on. I saw a chip back there, but... It's 400. This is a special option order truck. That's neat. James' truck's got 400 in it. That's cool. That's unusual. Wow. Uh, that's probably the interior release. So this truck's been since it's 94. That truck, 93. Three. Yeah. Yeah, I guess I don't know. I thought that was a 400. Maybe I was thinking this one. I'm not sure. Both of these are. I think, well, the, I think this blue one's on the tree, but uh, I think it's a three. We got a 1985 four-wheel drive manual transmission. That's cool. Can you get that shot? Uh, 22,672. 22, get that and make sure you get the shifter. And the blue one I think is around $39,000. That's a 305. Good miles, good options. Do you know the miles on, on this one? I believe it's 39 and some change. It's just a V6, two wheel drive, 39,000 miles. So it's a 4.3 liter. This is 1987. So I guess you can Almost got them in chronological order. Yeah, well, that's, <laughs> yeah, pretty near, huh? Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> then the, towards the end, they threw in, <laughs> of course, a couple of the over 39 and 57. Here's the 1991 GMC. So, so this is a 91, which is the last year of the Jimmy, which is fantastic. Original inspection sticker still on it, three of 92 because it would have been inspected in three of 91. So it's dark blue, silver cove. I was curious on the build date on this and how late it was since it's the last year. It's built four of 91. It has 110 actual miles. Yes, 110 driven once from the dealership to here. How cool is that, sir? Pretty cool. <laughs> now, none of these have been started in many years, correct? <laughs> well, uh, I don't believe so. We didn't, uh, you know, once we talked about this one, I didn't want to do anything with it until I so we have a battery we could throw in, but this one has been started. Okay. Uh, this is the 99, but I, uh, I just put the battery in. It's either 1,000 miles or 1,700 miles. One to two. Really? Yeah. Okay. So 99 okay. with less than 2,000 actual miles. This is actually the, I guess what, there's a Bel Air, then there's a 210 and a 110. Is there? And that's what I was saying. He said this was the actual Bel Air, the postcard, but 
Uh, but it's not, it, it was red to start, well, previously I shouldn't say to start. <laughs> I don't know what it's <laughs> Who knows, yeah. Right. Right. Yeah, 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 the, the, fire, the firewall's red. So yeah. Let's look at the uh, white blazer if we could. Okay. All right. Yep. Go here in the other garage. Timmy, what do we have? Yes. Cool. <laughs> it's actually in the other. Okay. This is, the, well, this is a Crosley <laughs> 48. Wow. Yeah, I didn't know what the market's like on these things, but it actually is a donor crossing over there with, I thought at least you have a correct interior because they try to modernize it a little bit. Okay. <coughs> so this is an even later one built 7 of 91, so you're getting there. I doubt they built them much later than 9 of 91. <coughs> 70,000 miles. Let's see what motor has got in it. And it will, it does start. Uh oh, it does? Yeah. Okay. Yep. I like yeah, it. Yeah, it started right up actually. Well, once we threw a new battery. They pulled every battery out here at some point. We have no idea when and, and what they did with them. Three fifty fuel injected. Great motor. This real quick. Two, three, four, five, six. So six other trucks. Besides the 91 GMC Jimmy, I know what they want for that. I don't know what they want for the other trucks. Um, I'm just going to agree to pay their asking price on the 110 mile one, which is amazing. It's got to be the best one in the world. So I'm going to go on wrestle and see if we can't put a package together with these other six trucks. So we're going to go out back and see some of the cars that are not stored inside. You said there's a 58 back here? There is. There's a 58 uh, four door Biscayne. <laughs> uh, there's a 63. Uh, Impala ragtop that's probably the, the biggest project on the property. Okay. Uh, and then there's uh, I think a 55 or 56 four door Bel Air. And, uh, well, he was a true car guy, wasn't oh, he? Oh, <laughs> well, true Chevy guy. <laughs> yeah, this caddy's only got, I think, 26,000 on it. Bet you didn't think I'd be interested in this, huh? My parents had one this year, this color, everything. How many miles run that one? Uh, 26,000. You're interested in that? Yes, sir. Oh, I hope you buy it. <laughs> yeah. It's an 84, though. 84 also? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's an 84 in the Buick That's Steve. a beautiful car. <laughs> it is. Pretty cool. That is a beautiful car. Now, my son, he said, that big boat? What do you want that big boat for? <laughs> I said, hey, that is a beautiful car. It is a pretty car. My parents had one. I love it. Oh, I bet she drives like a dream. Cool stuff at all. The Biscayne, four-door 55s been since 2012. And there's a 63 Impala convertible hidden right, in there. Next door here. Let's uh, uh -huh. see if we can get that door open. Get you some light. '64 is my favorite year, but I I like the '63 as well. Yeah. Well, it looks like I've been sitting for a long time. 1975. Wow. Does this have a title? Yep. Yeah, we don't, we're not missing one. So this car's probably pretty rusty underneath, I would imagine. Wow. 63 Impala convertible parts since 1975. That's people 
Oh, there's one back there? Yeah, see it? Right against the wall. So this is what I was hoping for. It is a four barrel car, not a two barrel car. 327 four barrel. And it's an automatic column shift, so it's going to be power glide. Silver with red interior. It's going to take a month of Sundays to restore it, but it'll be worth it. And that is a very odd hood. I don't think I've ever seen that scoop before. Huh. I'll have to ponder that one. But this is so cool. Parts is 1975. Well, that's going to be fun getting that out. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So here's a quick recap in chronological order or numerical order, if you will, what we bought today. We bought seven cars. There were 20 here. First one, 1963 Impala convertible, 327 four barrel, two speed power glide automatic. Key of this car, convertible, but also what's really neat, this car has been in this garage since 1975. Next, go to the other building. 1968 Chevelle convertible. It's a 307 V8 car. What I really like about this car, which you saw it a little bit earlier in the film, California delivered. California smog is still on it. California bumper overriders are on it. Really solid car with like 56,000 miles on it. 1971 C10 Cheyenne original paint. Really solid, really straight down the side. It is so tight in there, I couldn't get in there to see the miles, but we bought that. And then we got a 1985 black. Four wheel drive, GMC, Sierra Classic, but what's really neat about this, it's four speed. So short bed, four wheel drive, four speed, black, and the miles are like in, I think, 26,000. 79 C10, 6,900 miles on it. And the holy grail of this group, and probably the holy grail Jimmy, period, 1991 GMC Jimmy which is the final year with 110 miles on it. And last but not least, let's go back to the other garage. And this was gonna make a nice driver for someone. They said it still does run and drive now. The battery's up on it. White, white hard top, 1991. Again, final year, GMC. Late build truck, built in the seventh month with red interior. I think it's like around 70,000 miles, clean. So some crazy low mileage C10 stuff over there. Wow, so we bought seven vehicles today. The whole deal literally took about 15 minutes. Uh, prices were real reasonable. Well, not all of them, but one of them I paid a world's record price for. I'm sure you can figure out which one that is. But there you have it. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna load the 110 mile one right now. And uh, let's see how that goes. It's just been sitting since 1991. Zach, look at this. Original GM delivery mat still on the floor. And the miles are 110. Hey, got the original Hmm. Okay, that's not good. Well, it's a good thing there's a seat cover on. I can stand on the seat and get out. You want to come out the back door? He's going to give it the old Collins try. Oh, he's going out the window, Duke's a hazard? Duke's a hazard, baby. Maybe. Okay. Yeah, well, you had to go tech. Nothing's easy, James. No, sir. There's a category for that. <laughs> What's the category? Nothing's easy, Kevin. 
that one. Okay. That was a bad idea. Well, last question, Ken. <laughs> I know what it is. <laughs> okay. Uh, Favorite local place to eat? Probably the best place would be over in Dubois at uh, Luigi's Restaurant. Okay. Italian place. Uh, All right. Really good food. Uh, um, parking, if you can, if you can park that, maybe at the mall and drive over would be the best place that's in town. Well, if we can't do that, we may head to Pittsburgh. Yeah, you'll you find could, plenty. You could take that trailer and horses. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, but I'm sure you don't, probably don't want to eat the horses, but it's like a uh, steakhouse. Oh, yeah, it's a steakhouse. Steakhouse. good food. Horses yeah. steakhouse. Yeah. 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 Okay. Well, it's, if you guys want to go, you're welcome to go. Uh, it's up to you. Oh, I'm not going. Yeah, go <laughs> what do you want to do, Junior? Don't mind me. I don't care. Yeah, we'll, we'll go hang out with you for, right, for a little bit. We have to walk Off to horses. Yes. Uh, six ounce filet, medium rare. And I'll do steamed broccoli and a side Caesar. And could I have a uh, iced tea and a water, please? I think that iced tea is Oh, that's fine. Oh, well, cool. In Thank you. Water. I'm yeah, in good shape. Good. Little side Caesar. What you got there, Zach? Super. Yes. <laughs> What's on the side of it? I have no clue. Okay. Little mini Caesar, how's your salad over there, James? Very good. Real good. It's kind of like being at the uh, Golden Corral. That is. Or something like that. Yeah. Bet the steak's gonna be good. Sometimes it's good just to have a little roughage, I think. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. You're welcome. Alright, let's check it out, see if it's actually medium rare. I'll let you get started. Let's start right in the middle. Hard to beat a filet. I'm really hungry after watching James work so hard today. <laughs> It's great. It really is. Can we get the best bite? This room is it's a, minutes you know what? Sorry, I forgot about the best bite. I ate it all. It was really good. It's hard to beat a filet. It was cooked right. So if you need a steak and you're Du Bois, is that how you pronounce it? Du Bois. Du Bois. And you're with Du Bois. <laughs> go to Haas's. Now we are on the way to the airport, 89 miles. And we're back. We were gone for less than 48 hours. We did the buy in Maryland. We went to Pennsylvania, did the second buy. We're at DFW Airport now. We left Love Field. The second buy, four of the best square bodies I've seen in a long time, and arguably the best square body buy of the year. What do you guys think? It's definitely the best GMC chimney in the world. So please like, tag, share, and follow as always. Most importantly, subscribe to our YouTube channel and check out our new TikTok. We'll see you next week. So did you guys really think I wasn't gonna buy the two 1987 square bodies the last year produce them? Well, I did, and they're already here in Wiley, Texas, and that's the update. So 1987 was the first year of fuel injection, and the last year of the square body, which is what this is, red on red, four wheel drive, 34,594 miles. We got the towels on the dash because we don't want them to get hot. This is key to this truck. Best running and driving square body you can get. Three fifty fuel injected. Now the next one is a bit of an odd duck, but I really like it. I've never seen this before. I called a couple guys that are very learned on square bodies. Check this out, 1987 Sierra Classic, two-tone blue. We did show this one on the video. It's a V6, kind of unusual, but that's not the kicker. I have personally never seen a truck this late with this option. Look at this.
And this is what I learned how to drive on. A three speed on the tree. Look at that. 39,447 miles. This is the second most driven vehicle he had. The first was the 91 Jimmy. Unbelievable. And the black OBS. We didn't leave that there either, but it's not here. It's already in the warehouse. 99 was 1,795 miles. Now this is the first time we've ever done this. These are all gonna get sold. Our warehouse is literally full. I don't want these sitting outside very long. We could sell them as is. We could detail them and service them, get it ready for you to drive. Or if that doesn't happen, once they get through the shop, we'll get them done and send them to auction. But if you're interested in one of these 10 vehicles, all 10 of them are here. See, Chevelle Convertible's here, Paul Convertible's here. All the trucks are here. Hit us up at social at cbjeep.com. Tell us which one you're interested in and make sure you include your phone number. What an incredible day. We'll see you next time.